Hi, Matt. Uh, I'm transgender. I'm born and raised here in New Mexico. I have a graduate degree in information technology, marketing, business, and finance. Uh, I own my own home. I pay taxes. I have a six-figure job. I'm a respected professional in Albuquerque. Uh, I'm a mother. Uh, my life experience is that I'm an awesome person. I am well-liked. Uh, I'm responsible, and I think I'm pretty cool. Uh, you touched on something. You said something earlier that for you, when somebody calls you a man, it doesn't phase you because, like, you just know that you're a man. Uh, that was interesting to me because I feel the same way about my identity as a woman. My question leading up to this, you've asserted that no one would ever see me as a woman, that nobody would ever see or could see a transgender person as a woman, and yet I have dozens of friends from diverse backgrounds, women from the reservation, a woman from Japan, uh, several immigrant women. I have my coworkers, I have my boss, my VP, my CEO, all respecting me as a woman, uh, my family, my long-term friends who are actually here with me. Uh, all of these people assure me, like, I'm a woman. They'll tell me, girl, like, there is no way you are a man. They why see me as a woman. Why? So the question, okay. how can you assert that nobody would ever see me as a woman when my material experience tells me you're wrong. Okay, it's interesting that that's the part of my talk you chose to ask a question about because that's not in my talk at all. Um, I don't believe I said that no one would ever see you as a woman. I mean, it's possible, I suppose, that you could fool someone. Now, you brought this up, so I have to tell you that I, you brought this up. You've, you've put your identity on the table for conversation. And so I'm going to say, you, you wouldn't fool me at all. I mean, I see a man 100%. Um, and I think that most people would.